everyone, Rhonda Robson here with Rhonda's Tri Artistry. Thank you so much for joining me on my fluid art channel. Today's video is how to protect your fluid art like the ones that I have behind me because when they're in the sun, UV light hits it and it can fade your colors and you don't want that. Today's video is about spray varnish. Everyone's different with the type of results that they want out of their varnish. And for me personally, I have started using the spray more often than I have resin and liquid. And the reason why is because I get more mistakes when I do my liquid. And with the resin, I have to use a lot of PPE and protection gear in order to be safe when using resin. So personally, I like the results of resin, uh, but I would prefer just spraying a nice thin few coats of spray in order to get the results that I get. So let me get you down on these canvases because I've got multiple of them of how I spray my canvases in order to protect them. And I don't just use one coat, I use multiple coats to protect them. Thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Let's get you down on these canvases. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone. Today is about protecting your canvases. And today I'm outside because I am gonna use a spray varnish. And uh, so you're gonna hear some background noise. So hopefully you can hear me okay. But we have a koi fish pond so um, it's got a waterfall and then I've got a cricket over here so anyway today is about protecting your canvases and a lot of people don't protect their canvas and then their colors over time the UV light from the Sun and from your lights will fade your color so it's important to protect your canvas today like I said I'm using this uh, Windsor Newton it's a high gloss varnish and I like sprays uh, because I feel like I have a little bit more control. I also like very light, thin varnish, and I can put multiple coats over it if I want to. The key to a spray varnish, though, is to do circles and swipes different directions, so that way you get a full coverage. All right, well, today we're gonna go ahead and get this one protected. Now, this has been sitting um, on my, or it's actually been on my wall for about four, maybe five months because of uh, the fact that I want to let my canvases cure, my paint cure before I actually varnish it. All right, so here we go. So I start in circles to begin with and I go over the entire canvas, pretty close range, maybe four to six inches off the canvas. And I start that way, then I come along the sides because it gets overblown. I come over here on this side. And if you're doing this inside, all this dust that you're seeing fly will be in the air. So you've got to be careful. So now I'm going to go back and forth. back and forth this way. And then what I do is I kind of sit back and look to see if there's any overspray area or underspray area. And I go over it. Now, I am outside, so you gotta be careful on bugs and dust and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this off to the side, and then I'm gonna start my next one. This one looks pretty good. So here's the second one of the three that I'm doing today. And one of the things that you didn't see me do is wipe off. This has been sitting around for a while, so I do take a paper towel and I just go over it and wipe off any dust or any hair that might be on it. I do have a cat and a dog, so you just never know what might be on it before you go to spray. Here we go again. Circles first. Okay. 
And these are made with metallic, so I can't wait to see the, them pop again, the shine and the color. this one off. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I do see some dust on this, so um, that's good that I'm doing what I'm doing. This was a half of a can when I started, so it's kind of coming to the end. And that's when you tend to get some overspray or underspray when it's towards the end of a can. Make sure you shake it well. here and here, a couple of areas. Make sure I don't under spray it, that's the key. I want it to be as even as possible. Okay. I'm gonna go get the big one of this kind and I'll be back. So I'm going to prepare these canvases for Varnishing. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Windex and go over them. I did use a wood conditioner on it uh, to get the cells. And I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally get some bubbles in my varnish. So I'm just going to get this over all of them. I'm going to just let them dry for just a few seconds. Don't need too much. Go over it. Now, I've got these here. Mostly I'm going to do the tops first on these, and then I'll get the sides later. Okay, here we go. going back and forth on these. These are a little bit smaller. Instead of doing the circular motion first. And 
on the opposite direction circles. I'm going to let those dry for a little bit and then I'll get the sides. Well, I'll get some of the sides now. Go back down. I can't get all the sides. But I can get most of them. is number two of the first one I did. I want to get my tray just a little bit higher off. So I'm just taking a light brush across this to even out some of those spots that have gotten oversprayed because of the can that's going. That looks much better. Just nice and light. Don't want to make streaks. That's part of the reason why I don't like using liquid because I'll tend to make streaks. So for me, this is better. All right, number three. So on these ones, I'll probably do three coats. It's got some metallic in there. I really want to bring that metallic out in a sparkle. Okay, so I wanted to show you these varnished they are gorgeous and um, you can kind of see with the reflection of my light right there the um, texture that it gives it's just a nice thin sheen i did put three coats of varnish on these as well as putting varnish on these right 
So, so here's the varnish on this one. You can see it's very thin. I did three coats on, no, I think I did two coats on this one. And then I did, of course, three coats on those over there. But um, these look really nice. Those look great over there. Nice and varnished. And that is my winter, spring, summer, and fall. And yeah, I really like the spray varnish. Uh, it works really nice. I hope you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Small channels like myself grow. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.